Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So today we will be solving logical reasoning questions for the upcoming Cognizant aptitude exam. So let's not waste any time and get started. So the first question here is find the next number in the series 3, 7, 13, 21, 31 question mark. So how do we do this? So if we need to solve this, the first way what you need to do, we need to check the difference over here. Okay. If you check the difference here, see 3 plus 4 is 7, right? So 7 and 13, the difference is 6. So if you see, uh, here it's 8, I think. Yes, it's 8. So it's increasing in plus 2 order. Okay, so basically 4, then 6, then 8. In an even number pattern, it's increasing. Similarly, here it's plus 10, right? So similarly, it has to be plus 12. It should be the answer should be 43. Now let's check it. Here are the answers given. 43 option A should be the correct answer, by the way. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, option A is the correct answer for number one. <clears throat> Let's go to the next question. We will solve it very quickly today because this is a practice session. I hope you guys already know this. We are just solving previous questions of this company. Fine. Find the next number in the series 10, 14, 23, 39, 64. Fine. Let's first note it down here. 10, 14, 23. Copy it. Yeah, this is the thing. So we need to first understand what what is happening. If you look closely, um, main important thing is fourteen minus ten it's four. Twenty three minus fourteen is it's nine, right? Six. Yep, yeah, it's nine. Thirty nine minus twenty three is it is um, six, and here it is. 16 yeah here the difference is 25 so do you notice a pattern here 2 square 3 square 4 square 5 square fine so this is the difference this is how you need to find out the difference so what should be the next question next i mean next number it should be 6 square that is 36 so plus 36 that should be the answer so the answer should be 100 because 64 plus 36 it comes it becomes 100 so let's check it yeah i think option a has to be the correct answer here and yep, yep, yep. 2A is the correct answer you can see. Let's go to the next question. Find the odd one out. H, I, K, J, K, L, M, M. Okay. See, see, for such questions, let's copy first. Then I will explain it to you. Yeah. So here, if you look closely, um, first it's H, I, K, J. So in alpha, we have our alphabetical order. We already know it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So H, I is in order. Okay. K, J is not in order. Fine. It's basically reverse. It's reverse. Okay. It's reverse. A, B, C, D, E, F, G is K, L. We know K, L. No, it's normal. It's fine. M, N, it's one second in reverse order. S, T is in normal. U, V is one second in reverse order. So here, if you look, this is the normal pattern. This is okay. Fine. So I think this one has to be the odd one out because all these three matches with each other in the pattern. So RSTU. So this is normal. Right. RSTU is the normal alphabetical form, normal alphabetical order. So this has to be the odd one out. D has to be the answer. Let's check. I think you got my point. Yeah, 3D. You can check here. 3D is the answer. Fine. Let's go to the next question. Question number four. Find the next number in the series. Two, five, twenty-six. Okay. This looks like difficult. I don't know. Let's see. Fine. Another thing is that you guys uh, do not just dump, just jump into the question. Okay. First, try to solve yourself and then see my solution. That will help you the most because you need to understand. You need to understand where are you stuck? What's the problem you are having? Fine. Okay. 2526. Just by seeing the first thing that comes to my mind is 2 into 2 plus 1 is 5. 5 into 5 plus 1 is 26. Right? So you notice a pattern. So basically here it's 2 square plus 1. For this one, it's 5. So 5 square plus 1, it's 26. So what should be the answer here? 26 square plus 1, right? So this has to be something like, see, this is a shortcut. 
you can you can definitely calculate which is a safer option but just normally you see 26 square means what last digit has to be something 6 because 6 6 is 26 uh, 36 so last digit has to be 6 and we are adding a plus 1 here so it has to be plus 1 it becomes 7 the last digit becomes 7 so if the last digit is 7 option b has to be the answer because this is the only one with answer 677 the last digit is 7 yeah 47 is also there but of course 23 square so it's a huge number it can't be 47 right so this is how you need to solve it the correct answer has to be option b fine <clears throat> right. let's go to the next question find the missing number in the sequence 2 3 7 8 okay let's try yeah let's start so two three seven eight okay it's very easy sorry i mean it's very easy i didn't notice at first so see two three is in like plus one form okay one second seven eight is in plus one form 13 40 is plus one form but the main difference comes here three and seven here it's plus four eight plus five is 13 so next time it has to be plus six because see four five six the increase I mean, this increase in number is increasing, right? So it has to be 20, right? 20. And what is the next question? I mean, next blank. If they ask in this question, this has to be the answer. But if they ask, then the answer should be 21. If they suppose they are asking for next two digits, because this is very easy to form, right? So yeah, 20 is the answer. I hope you got it. Let's check. Yeah, yeah option C. Option C is the answer. Uh, here it's given. 5c yep it's 5c no problem let's go so this computer is coded as okay <clears throat> let's see let's try yeah so this is the this is our question so computer so see for to do this kind of question the most important thing is you need to practice in a certain manner okay see c you need to understand c and under there it's g right for c the corresponding alphabet is g so c g o k m q now you try to understand okay p and uh, l okay fine so c and g if you notice d e f three letters right so c plus four if you do because c is number three a b c and four five six seven 7 is G, right? The number for 7 is G. I mean, the number for G is 7. So basically, here it's become plus 4. So now let's for this, let's check for this. O and K. <clears throat> A, B, C, D, K, L, M, and N, right? So here it becomes plus 4. I mean, see, here it's plus 4 like this. Here it's plus 4 like this. I mean, you can also try saying O minus 4 is K. Here's plus 4, here it's minus 4. Are you getting my point? You can also write like that. So once again, the same pattern is being noticed. Okay, M and Q. Similarly, it's plus four, and L and P. It's minus four. You understand? So basically, he, like if you are having any confusion, I will write like this. Like this, it's minus four. So plus four, minus four, plus four, minus four. <clears throat> so next has to be again plus four. So now for senate, we have to find senate. Fine. So let's guess. Here has to be plus 4, minus 4, plus 4, minus 4, plus 4, minus 4. So, let's try. Now, let's check the answers over here for our, so that we can be quick. So, first is W, no problem. Last is A and Q. Um, just like, let's check, um, yeah, let's check the third letter. Fine, let's check the third letter. N, N plus 4, what should it be? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. So it has to be R. Let's check now. R. Okay. We are seeing that option C or D or A has to be the answer. Now let's check for the last letter. Okay. Last letter and the second last letter. For the last. Okay. Here it's A. As, uh, e is 5. So 5 minus 4. It's, it's 1. So it has to be A. Okay. It has to be A. So. Um. Okay, second last T. Let me see. 
u v w u v and w so x this one is x so i think the answer should be option c option c should be the answer now let's check option c for 6 yeah yeah 6 c c is the answer so you got my point right how to do you need to practice and see this is the only way you have to actually the most effective thing is you need to num memorize the numbers or digits associated with the alphabets for s for a for b for z you know z is 26 a is 1 okay j is 10 i is 9 like that you need to remember every digit or number associated with the particular alphabet if you do this thing you can solve such questions with ease okay this took me this time me this much time because i was explaining Th this question was actually very easy okay you got my point let's go to the next question <clears throat> okay so i will copy this one <clears throat> yeah so in this question this is a question related to directions and also this question has a trick part also okay so let's start doing if you get such question the first rule you have to do is just draw like this south north east west this is the first thing you have to do to remember okay for your ease you cannot do also after you do a lot of practice but it's like it's safer to use okay so let's start uh, so Raja left home and cycled 5 kilometers southward. So okay, this is a starting point. He traveled 5 kilometers south. Fine. After then he turned left and cycled. So from this point he's turning left. So it's like this. Okay. So this is three, uh, 2 kilometers. Okay. Then he turned left again and cycled 3 kilometers. So it's like this. 3 kilometers. Fine. And then he turned right and cycled 5 kilometers from this. He cycled 5 kilometers. 5. Now the question is, this is the trick part. How many kilometers will he cycle to reach his home straight? So this is the home. Okay, this is the home. So he needs to go here. So from this part, this is the look, the, I mean, the kilometer, the distance they have to find. So how will you find this one? Do you notice something? This is the hypotenuse of a certain triangle. And the triangle you have to make. So this is 2 kilometers, we know the distance. So this part is 2 kilometers. And this part, the actual height we are using right now is 5 minus 3, it's 2 kilometers. I mean 2, okay. Because the 5, the entire part is 5 and this part is 3. So this part has to be 5 minus 3, it's 2, okay. It's 5 minus 3, it's 2. Fine, you got you got it right. So it's 5. Here we don't know, we have to find it. And it's 5 and this is 2. So here it, the total becomes 7. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, the thing is that hypotenuse square is equals to so is equals to base square plus height square. Okay. So, if you see this triangle, well, this is the triangle. Okay. This is what we need to find. This is 7 here and this is 2 here. Okay. Another thing is, um, yeah, this is the base. This is the height and this is the hypotenuse. Okay. This is the height. This is the base. This is hypotenuse. So we need to find this thing. So if you put it in the formula, it goes like this. Um, 7 square, it's 49. And 2 square is 4. So it's 53. Yeah, this is the answer. Root over of 53. Option A is the answer. Pretty clear, right? Let's check question 7. Yeah, 7A seven is the answer. That's what we got here. 7A square root of 53. So yeah, done. Let's go for question number 8. The odd man. Okay, this is pretty easy if you see um, A, B, D, C. Okay, once again that form. C, D is in reverse form. A, B is in normal form. M, N, O, oh, sure. Here see O is missing. M, N, P, Q. Okay, this O is also missing. Also, it's in consecutive form, not in opposite or reverse form. P, Q, R, S. So, this is also P, Q, R, S. This S, R part is in reverse form. P, Q is normal. S, T, U, V. Okay, so definitely the option B is the answer. This was very, very easy. You guys might have like done it. Option B, the answer is option B. It's very easy. You got it right. See, first of all, MN of in this in this part, O is missing. First of all, O is missing here. And then PQ is in normal. Normal consecutive form. MN is also consecutive form. 
and normally in A, C and D, you, if you notice the latter part, the last two alphabets are in reverse order. So this is how you need to spot. It's done. Option B. Okay, number nine. Record the words. Mm, Kul Mohar coded as this one. People is going to run this one. Okay. This this one you need to do it yourself. Okay. I'll be doing it. I'll be doing it at last because we already this, did this uh, this sort of thing. Let's try the different one. Number ten. Find the suitable option for the given relation. Building bricks, flower. See for this one. This one, you need to see building is made by bricks, right? Building are made by bricks. So flowers are made by what? Seed, fruit, honey, petals. Of course, it's petals, right? Like buildings are made up of bricks. Flowers is made up of what? So petals is the answer. You need to find out the relation. If you just find out the relation, you'll be getting, getting it. Okay. So let's check uh, number 10. Number 10 is D. Number 10 is D. Yeah, we got it. This one, Mohan is the brother of Rohan's grandmother. Okay. See here, we need to do like this. Rohan, Mohan is the brother of Rohan's grandmother. Here is Rohan. Okay. Here is Rohan's grandmother. Someone. Okay. Suppose G. And a Mohan is the brother of like Mohan is here. Mohan is the brother. So, and this one is minus. Plus means here male and minus means female. Okay. This is how you can notify for your ease. Now, how is Rohan related to Mohan? So, <clears throat> Rohan related to Mohan. If you see, of course, it's grandson, right? If you it if if it was said, how is Mohan related to Rohan? This this relation, okay? Then that would be grandfather, okay? It's not GF, okay? It's grandfather, okay? Whatever. And for this question, which is given, it has to be grandson because it said how is Rohan related to Mohan, not Mohan related to Rohan. You understood, I think. Okay. Let's go. Last question, question number 12. Find the term that can replace question number, okay? 24, 50, 102. What's the answer here? Okay. Um, yeah. Pretty easy. Into 2 plus 2, right? 24 into 2, 48. Plus 2, it's 50. So similarly, same pattern to follow here. 102 into 2 is 104. Plus 2 is 106. So, I mean 206, sorry. So 206, yeah. Option B. Option B is the answer here. Let's check. Number 12, yeah, option B. Okay, we are done. So now let's go for the last question. Number 9, it's already done, but still, let's go. I hope you guys can do it as well. 